Hey everybody, it's Josh, and for those of you who don't know, I am the fan of the State of the Saints podcast. Now, for this week's State of the Saints reaction, it's not going to be a reaction at all. I'm actually going to beat TJ to the punch about something, because TJ hasn't talked about this yet. So TJ, this makes me a better Saints podcaster than you. Now, I, TJ, I know, you know, TJ, he's out there. He's, um, he's probably just enjoying a Saturday afternoon with his family, and that's probably what it is. Otherwise, he would have gotten on here and talked about this already. But as I stated in my title, Sean Payton uh, visited the Saints facility this week. Apparently, it was yesterday or the other day, um, and he apparently had some kind of a conversation with Mickey Loomis. So... This is huge news. This is huge news. Now, you guys know that I believe in giving Dennis Allen a chance, and I don't want him fired before the season is over, and I don't want... I, I really want to give him a couple of seasons to prove himself. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to fire Dennis Allen at the end of the season, even if he wins every game from here on out. Now, this is what makes Sean Payton visiting the facility so interesting. Because here's the thing, Sean Payton said in one of his previous interviews that he was going to be in New Orleans to visit family, friends, uh, have a little fun, and so on and so forth. And I mean, he did attend a basketball game. He attended the Pelicans game that happened like last night or the other night too. So he definitely was in town for, for fun reasons. But visiting the Saints facility is is different. It's way different. Because... I'm sure at the Pelicans game, Sean probably went back to the locker room. He probably hung out with some of the celebrities and athletes and stuff like that. But it was just like a fun thing. For Sean to go out of his way to actually visit the state, the Saints facility, something's up with that. I think Mickey Loomis is, is making Sean an offer to come back to New Orleans. And I'm going to go on record... And I've said this before, I think Sean Payton is the head coach of the New Orleans Saints next year. Because here's the thing, the Saints will move hell and high water to get Sean Payton back. They would do anything to get Sean Payton back. If they have to make him by far the highest paid head coach in the history of the league, that's what they'll do. Because they know they can give Sean the worst scraps to work with and he'll still come up with a potent offense. And so they know they always have a chance to win with Sean Payton. So I think Mickey Loomis was, uh, and Sean sat down and, st and got some things off their chest and had a potential. I think Mickey Loomis asked Sean basically what it would take for him to come back. That's what I think happened. And I think whatever it takes to bring Sean back, that's what they're going to do. Can you think of another reason for Sean to actually visit the facility? I mean, he could have just done what he did with the Pelicans game and just gone to the game and left it at that. He didn't go to no game. He visited the facility. He talked to people behind the scenes. He had private conversations. This wasn't, let's meet up to go to the park and hang out with you know our wives and kids. Because if that was the case, he would have just gone over to Mickey Loomis's and some of the Saints players' houses and hung out in private, and we would have never known about it. All right? But he went to the facility. So this is a big deal. This is a really big deal. And I know that I've got some wishful thinking going on here, but can you really think of a, uh, another reason why Sean would be visiting the facility? I mean, you could say he's there to just give him a pep talk, right? Maybe there was some kind of team meeting and Sean Payton was like their special guest, you know, motivational speaker or whatever. But I doubt they'd bring him back just for that. Because they can do that in, on Zoom. There's so many different ways they could do that. No, I believe that they... I believe that Mickey Loomis is making a play to bring Sean Payton back to the Saints. And I believe Sean will be back with the Saints because Mickey will pay him anything he wants to pay him. Mickey will... 
give Sean any kind of leeway he wants in order to bring him back. I mean, he's going to make the deal as sweet as Sean wants it to be and probably even sweeter. So, you know, I hate to put things out there without confirmation, but I believe the Saints are officially pursuing Sean Payton right now because of this visit and because of everything that's going on with the Saints right now. And I believe that Sean Payton has a really good chance of being our head coach next uh, next season. The only way that this doesn't happen is if, like, the Broncos or the Chargers make Sean Payton a better offer. But I don't think they're in a position to do so. I really don't. You know, because John Elway is not going to let, you know, the Broncos leadership is not going to let Sean Payton have the kind of leeway and have the kind of influence he had in New Orleans. It isn't going to happen. Um, and the Chargers are kind of a mess as far as, far as like their, their ownership and their leadership goes. So I feel like Sean's coming back, y'all. That's all I got to say. Anyway, uh, check out TJ's State of the Saints podcast whenever he drops a video about this. I'm sure he will in the next day or two. I'm going to link his podcast down below. I'm also going to link my pot, my cash app down below. Please show your love. Uh, have a good good rest of your weekend.